<sighs> Boy, where do I start with this? Where do I start with this? Listen, uh, you got this big jar tank ass head dude on the left. This is Dr. Umar Johnson. And so Umar Johnson was making some criticism of Simone Biles. And, you know, he wasn't completely, like, just tearing up. But, you know, he was trying to imply that Simone Biles, you know, because of her surroundings, you know, he was almost trying to imply that she kind of forgot who she is, you know, trying to say, imply that Simone Biles forgot that she black. <laughs> you know, he was he was really trying to politely call her the C word. He was trying to call her a coon. And, um, you know, and then he was talking about Charles and he was talking about, you know, Shaq and, you know, he was talking about them too, calling them the same thing. You know, I sit and I look at this and I'm thinking, okay, who is he calling it? Who is he calling it? You know, he was even talking about the girl feet, like how, you know, she painted her feet and she's trying to be accepted into, you know, groups of people that don't look like her. And, you know, we, I'm sitting here listening to this and I'm like, what is he talking about? Like, since when does Dr. Umar Johnson, you know, and, and guys, don't get me wrong, he's entitled to his own opinion. He's entitled to his opinion, just like everybody else is. But what right does he have to try to imply that this girl is trying to fit into places that she don't belong? See, this is what I don't like, you know. See, when people try to tell black folks who they need to associate with, who they need to associate with. You know, I look at people like Umar Johnson, I be like, boy, I will associate with, with whoever the hell I want to associate, and it won't be a damn thing that you can do about it. If I want to associate with white people, I'm going to associate with white people. If I want to go associate with Asians, I'm going to associate with an Asian. If I want to associate with, a, with, with, with Mexicans, guess what? Coach Sheldon Harrison will be associating with him some Mexicans. I will associate with whoever I want to associate with. That's the first thing. See, people like Umar Johnson, they're always worried about what somebody else doing. Always worried about, you know, what somebody black doing that don't line up with what you think. Well, I don't care. I don't care what he think. I don't care. Be me, I will associate with who I want to. And that still will not make me lose my identity as a black man. Like, what makes you think Simone Biles don't know that she's black or, you know, she's lost her black identity? That's stupid. See, guys like Umar Johnson, they talk to talk. They're always talking about something. You know, this guy, what is he? Well, he calls himself the Prince of Pan Possum Piss. I, I, I mean, <laughs> the Prince of Pan Possum Piss trying to tell somebody. Multi-millionaire. Hell, you know what, Umar John, why don't you concentrate on getting that damn school up and running? That's what you do. Why don't you concentrate on getting that damn school up and running? Because, damn, and ain't it been about seven years that you've been talking about that you're going to get this school up and running? And that this school ain't up and running? Had it been about seven years that you said that you were going to get this school up and running, and I'd be damned, this school is not up and running yet. Why? Why is this school up and running? And you know, have y'all noticed that whenever people ask Umar Johnson about this school, every time they ask this man about the school, this guy, he go into a tirade, he get upset, he get mad. So the problem with black people is black people don't understand that, that you got to be patient, you got to wait. You know, he always pull that card. What you mean black people don't understand about being patient? No. People want to know what the hell happened to the money that they gave you to put the school into play. I think they said he raised like what seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and then he bought a building for four hundred thousand dollars. And I get that he was saying it's gonna cost X amount of dollars to do the, the HVAC and the plumbing. And but here's the thing with Umar Johnson: though. you had people that that said they would volunteer a lot of that stuff. And it was one brother who who came out and he was talking about it. He said, "Man, I done tried to call Umar Johnson on several occasions. I done left him messages. Tried to call him on the phone. Tried to get in touch with him." To, to volunteer my services. And he said, you know what, Umar Johnson didn't even return those calls, didn't even once get back to this brother that was trying to help him. He ain't do all that. So what that tells me is, okay, you're not doing what you say that you're going to do. That's what it tells me. You're not doing what you say that you say you're going to do. You're not doing it, or you have no intentions. I mean, it takes seven years. Seven years, and, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong. If Umar Johnson... Been, been trying to get this school together for about seven years. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay? We're somewhere around there. I know I'm close. I know I'm real, real close. I'm extremely close to, you know, like how long that this school is supposed to take to get built or how long he's been talking about getting the school up and running. I know I'm close. But see, here's the thing, man. People like Umar Johnson, they're narcissists. You know, they really are. They got this, they got this, like, this complex about themselves that they think they're greater than what they are. I mean, this guy's got, he got time to call everybody a coon, right? 
but he ain't got time to get this school up and running. Wow. Isn't that amazing, y'all? It's just amazing with this guy. And, you know, and I thought I heard it all. And the guy always asking for donations, run them donations, run the donations back, run some. He always talking about he need a donation. Every time this man, you know, go live or go Instagram on, on YouTube, this man always talking about he need a donation. He always talk. You see, Dr. Umar Johnson, he talk a good game, talk a real good game. But that's all this man know how to do is talk. He's a lecturer. That's it. And you want to talk about Simone Biles, a multimillionaire, 24 years old. Multi-millionaire, many times over. She can go do what she want to do, when she want to do it, how she want to do it. Simone Biles can be like, I'll just go home. I don't have to be a part. Man, Simone Biles can sit at home for a year and do nothing and still be rich. <laughs> can Umar Johnson do that? No, nah, he can't do that. This man will still be online trying to beg people for donations. Of course he can't do that. Of course he can't. He'll never be able to do that. But that's Umar Johnson. That's who he is. This man been frauding the people for years, man. And it's been so many people getting on him. And, you know, he go to thing, too. He, he want to talk. This man talking about he want to threaten people, you know, talking about him. Threaten YouTubers. Talking about, hey, I'm going to come meet you. I'm gonna, I know where you live at. I'm coming to see you. And, of course, again, once again, he's talking because he ain't came and saw nobody. Not one person. He, Umar Johnson ain't came to see. He ain't came to see one person. See, he'll, he'll talk that stuff. He'll talk that rhetoric on y'all. He'll talk the rhetoric. But then, see... When somebody call him out on his BS, then he get mad. He want to get frustrated. But, you know, this dude got some nerve, man. Like you. Like you can define what blackness is. Really, a fraud. A man who's taking advantage of people. You can determine what blackness is. See, I never get when some people, they call somebody that word. They call somebody a coon. But you can, I mean, you can actually determine what is blackness. I mean, Umar, are you the definition of blackness? I mean, is that you? So do we need, do we need to turn to you? When we need a real true definition of what black is, do we have to look at you? I wonder, is he the definition of what black is? Because if that's the case, then I don't want to be like him. I don't want to be like him. I don't want to be a fraud like this guy. This guy's a fraud. This guy is a one bona fide class A fraud, and he's always that's what he's always going to be. This guy's a hustler. He know how to hustle people. He know how to get people in their emotions. And so when people get in their emotions, they donate. And this guy ought to know, man, Simone Biles wasn't set up. He was talking about she was set up. How was she set up? See, I can't stand when people make comments about mental health when they don't know nothing about it. She wasn't set up. This woman was going through extreme bouts of mental health. And that's the reality of it. I know that we want to, you know, believe in some kind of damn conspiracy theory. I know that this is what we want to believe. And I know that it, there's got to be a reason why Simone not competing with her. Yeah. The reason is her mental not right. Her mental not right. Simone Biles don't want to be in Tokyo. She don't want to be there. Okay, her mind is not there. So she's having mental health problems. That's why she can't compete. There's not some magical person behind the scenes setting Simone up. Now, the whole thing about her routines, you know, they're devaluing her routines. That's true. That, that's, that's absolutely true. That's 100% true that they're devaluing what her routines are. We're not arguing that. But if we, if we talking about that there's some magical person behind the scenes that that's just, you know, like sabotaging everything Simone do, well, that, that's stupid. That's just stupid. Because there's not a magical person sitting back sabotaging Simone. Simone is self-sabotaging herself because of her mental health. Her mental, brain, her mental health is not strong now. So what is she doing? She's doing the best thing she know how to do. Quit. Back away. I don't even call her a quitter. She's just backing away. She's backing away because she need to take a step away from the sport. A lot of people that do sports for most of their life, Simone, y'all got to, man, Simone been a gymnast for most of her damn life. More than, more than, like more, like more than half her adult life, this woman been in the, in a gymnast. Sometimes you get tired of it. Hell, even Michael Jordan got tired of basketball. And even Michael Jordan wasn't, you know, in his right mental state when his father died. He quit basketball and started playing baseball. He, just, he wasn't in his right mental health. Lots of athletes lose their mental health at some point in the game because of circumstances. And, and, and it's a thing called life. But to suggest that, you know, Simone ain't black enough. Well, I mean, 
You're afraid. At least Simone ain't cheating her people. At least Simone is transparent. No, nah, you do everything behind the scenes. Dr. Umar Johnson. Wow, man. Wow, amazing, man. And it's like, how many, I, you know, I, how many people, man, just love kicking a person when they're down and they're out and they just have nothing else? Y'all was like, ooh, I like to do that, man. But it is what it is. It is what it is. He can say what he want to say, but this guy's an embarrassment. Umar Johnson is an embarrassment to black people. He's embarrassed. And it's bad even when your own dad, your own father, point blank, say, you know what? <laughs> Son, you need to stop. You need to stop what you're doing because right now this is not good. You, you're embarrassing us. Dr. Umar Johnson's own dad put that out there. How do you explain that? How do you explain but this guy want to go on and, you know, try to know everything. And, and people like Umar John, they think they know everything. They think they know everything, but you don't know everything. You don't know everything. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Well, Umar, I hope you get that school done instead of sitting around here worried about what Simone Biles doing. But I can tell you, I agree with most of the other people that say, you know, I used to be like, man, these people are hard on Umar. Uh, you know, maybe he will get this school done. Maybe he'll get it out. Maybe it'll come to pass. I'm starting to agree with some of these people. I, I don't think that Frederick Douglass, Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, I don't think that school is going to be done no time soon. Because guys like Umar, they talk a good game, but they also play the best game, and that's you. <laughs>